In this lesson, we will learn to represent how much stuff is in a solution, which is called concentration. We will use units of molarity to express concentration and use those units to convert between volume and moles of a substance or ion. We will also learn how to calculate new concentrations after performing a dilution. When we mix a solute with a solvent, we make a solution. The word concentration includes how much solute is in the solution. We use square brackets around a substance to indicate concentration of that substance. We have additional words to generally describe how much solute is in a solution. A pure solution contains no solute. A dilute solution contains a small amount. A concentrated solution contains a lot and a saturated solution contains the maximum amount of solute. Notice in the rightmost picture of a saturated copper sulfate solution, we have crystals of copper sulfate forming at the bottom of the container because absolutely no more copper sulfate can fit in the solution. The favored unit to express concentration is molarity, abbreviated with a big M. To find the molarity, you take the moles of solute and divide it by the total liters of solution. To give you a taste of the future, in the next lesson, we will use molarity to convert between moles of solute and liters of solution. This makes it much easier to solve stoichiometry problems involving solution chemistry. Try this practice problem. What is the molarity of a solution which contains one mole of magnesium chloride dissolved in a two liter solution? Then, calculate the concentration of chloride ion in this solution. Pause the video and try it out. To calculate the concentration of magnesium chloride, take the one mole of magnesium chloride and divide it by two liters of solution. The concentration is 0 0.5 molar. To calculate the concentration of chloride ion in this solution, we'll use dimensional analysis. We start with our concentration from part one, which have units of moles of magnesium chloride per liter of solution. Our ending units need to be moles of chloride per liter of solution. So our conversion factor needs to convert between magnesium chloride and chloride. How many chlorides are in one magnesium chloride? It's two. Multiplying this together, we get one mole of chloride per liter or a molarity of one. Many times, you will be diluting a concentrated solution into one that is less concentrated, sort of like mixology. When we dilute, we use the equation M1V1 equals M2V2. M1 and V1 indicate the initial molarity and volume. M2 and V2 indicate the final molarity and volume. To understand why this equation works, let's break down the units. Multiplying volume by molarity is multiplying liters by moles per liter. Notice that when we do this, liters cancel, leaving us with moles of solute only. This makes sense. The equation works for dilutions because moles of solute will not change during a dilution. Okay, let's try it out ourselves. Pause the video and calculate the initial volume in this problem. Here is the solution. We need to search in the problem for M1, V1, M2, and V2, one of which won't be given, and that is the unknown we will solve for. M1 is 15 molar. V2 is two liters. M2 is 1.1 molar leaving V1 as the unknown. Plug this into the algebra and solve for V1. We get 0.15 liters.